Texas lawmakers vote to arrest missing Democrats. The move comes as we learn nine Democratic senators have also left the state. At the state capitol today, the remaining lawmakers attempted to move the special session forward. CBS Austin's Christian Flores is at the capitol with how things unfolded today. Christian. After this morning's roll call showed a quorum had officially been broken, House Speaker Dave Phelan ordered the doors to be locked and for the missing members to be arrested and brought into the chamber. Those arrests, however, were obviously not going to happen today with the House Democrats already in Washington, D.C. In a series of parliamentary inquiries, Phelan also revealed he is not allowed to strip chairmanships or committee assignments, and committees are not allowed to hold meetings while quorum is not secure. House Democrats flew out of two private jets yesterday to leave Texas to keep the chamber below the minimum number of members members required to take action on bills. They have defended this move as well as their regular session walkout, killing the election bill because they say the election bill is currently in play will disproportionately suppress voters in communities of color. House Democrats once again slammed the bill during a press conference in D.C. this morning, while their Republican counterparts inside the Texas Capitol today pushed for those who left to be punished. More than 50 Democratic members have, of the Texas House uh, have left Texas. Uh, to stop Republicans from passing the latest iteration of their voter suppression legislation. Can House committee chairs and vice chairs be removed from their positions? They cannot. We were also monitoring the Senate this morning, confirming this afternoon that nine Democratic senators are now in Washington. In order to break quorum, there are no more than three Democrats could be in the chamber, assuming all the Republicans would be present for that. This morning, there were four Democratic senators inside the chamber, and Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick thanked the 22 members who were there to keep the quorum. Reporting live from the Texas Capitol, Christian Flores, CBS Austin News.